In this video, I will show you how you can customize your single product page using a free plugin and the free version of Elementor. So this is the final result we are aiming to achieve in this video. I'm using the Blosky theme right here. So this is the default single product page for this theme. And then over here, you can see the custom product page that I just created. So if you're looking to customize your single product page, just like this one right here, let's head over to WordPress and I will show you how you can do just that. So I've gone ahead and log into my WordPress dashboard. So once you log in here to get this plugin, all you need to do is to head over to plugins, click on add new. And then over here on the sidebar, go ahead and type in shop engine. And then you're going to see the plugin that we need by WP Met. Go ahead and install and activate the plugin. So once you install and activate the plugin, you're going to get this shop engine option here. And then from here, the first thing we need to do is to head over to widgets over here. We're going to click on widgets. So what I really like about this plugin is that you can turn off any widgets that you don't need. You can see here that you have a toggle button here. You can turn this off and any widget that you turned off here is not going to show up inside your Elementor page builder and it's also not going to load on your website. So this is going to keep your website loading fast and lightweight at the same time. So go ahead and turn anything you don't need here off, but I'm going to leave all this on for the sake of this tutorial. And once you finish, click on save changes. And then over here on modules, if you click on modules over here, you can see that they have four modules for you that you can add to your WooCommerce page. So if you want to add the quick view, you can go ahead and click on this setting button right here and then you can enable or disable that from here. So this is very, very good because this can actually replace other plugins that you're already using on your WordPress website. You can delete those plugins and then you can just use one plugin to do everything. You can see here that they have swatches and wish lists for you as well. And they also have product comparison. So if that is something that you need, you can go ahead and enable that from here. Once you finish here, click on save changes. And then they also have the option for you to upgrade to their pro version right here. If you click on get started, you can go over here to comparison. You can see how many widgets that is added in the free version. They have 47 here and they have four modules. They have six templates. And then over here, they have 65 plus pro templates. So you can go ahead and check all this out. You can see what they have, what is included in the free version and what is included in the pro version. And then if you don't have the budget for this, you can go ahead and continue using the free version. I think the free version is also generated and it's amazing let's head over to WordPress and continue the tutorial with the free version of the plugin so from here the next thing you need to do is to click on build templates and here you can see the template that I just created which is this one right here so from here all you need to do is to click on add new and then over here you are going to choose one of these pre-designed templates that they have here for you so if you want to choose any of these pre-designed templates you can go ahead and choose that and you can see the type of template that you are creating right here so this is a single product page and then from here you can choose the archive page and you can also see the uh, design that they have for you here but for this tutorial we're going to be working on the single page and from here you can decide whether to set this as default or not and for this template to work on your website you will have to set it as the default template unfortunately this is the only option you get if you are familiar with working with Elementor Pro, you can see that there is no conditional option right here. So that means you don't have any conditional option to set where you want this template to display. Maybe you want this template to display on specific products, but you don't have that option here because this is the free version. If you want to get all the options for conditional logic, you will have to upgrade to the pro version of the plugin. But for now, I think this will do. This will apply to all the products on your website. So go ahead and give your template a name. I'm going to leave this as new template and then I'm going to select the type from here. And then I'll choose this option right here because I like to create things from scratch. If you want to start with a template, go ahead and select one of these options that they have for you. But I'll go with this blank one right here and then I'm going to click on save changes. So let's go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. So once you're on this page, you can go ahead and start designing your template. And another thing I like about this plugin is that if you look over here, you can see that they have categorized everything for you so that it will be easy for you to find the widget that you are looking for. You can see here, if you are creating a single product page, you can see all the single product widgets are inside this single product category. And then if you scroll down and go to product archive you can see the product archive widget inside here so this is how they categorize the widgets for you so that it will be easy for you to find so to make this tutorial easy to follow let's go ahead and regret this page that we have right here and from here click on this plus icon here to add a section and then over here on the left side change the section height to minimum height you can use this slide here to increase or decrease the height 
I will leave this on 500 for now and then head over to style, click on background type, select the background image. Let's go ahead and select this one right here and position type, change that to center center and attachment type, leave that to default, repeat. We are going to say no repeat and then the size, change that to cover and then head over to background overlay. Click on background type, select the color that you want to use as your background overlay and then change the opacity for your overlay color to your liking. I'm going to leave this one to 0 0.7. I'm going to leave this one to 0 0.6. Now I click on this icon to go back to elements. Now from here, go ahead and look for the breadcrumbs widget and drop it right here. Over here on the left side, you can see the style option. Go ahead and style this to your liking. Let me change this test to white for now. I'm just going to keep the design simple just to make this tutorial really fast and then I'm going to head over to the elements again and look for the product title and then drop that product title in here. So go ahead and style this to your liking. You can increase the size if you want like this. You can see the size here. Increase the size to your liking. I will leave this at 50 for now. And you can change this to lowercase or capital letter, whatever you want to do, go ahead and do that here. So this is not elemental styling tutorial. I do have other videos on how to do that on this channel. So go ahead and check them out if you want to learn how to use elemental. So right click here and click on navigator. And then from here, let's click on the section and then let's go to layout. And then from here, I want to change the column position from middle to bottom. And then from here, the column gap, I want to change that to custom. And then I'm going to use this slide to position that where I want it. I'm going to leave that at 60 for now. The next thing we need to do is to add another section here. So I'm going to add a two column section. And then inside the second column, I'm going to add an inner section. So go ahead and scroll down to the basic and grab inner section and add it over here. And go ahead and delete one of the inner sections. Now that we have this, go back here to the shop engine single products and then we're going to go back here and see inside here we have the product title and we also have the breadcrumbs, we have the star rating, we have the product description. So let's go ahead and add all this in here. So let's go ahead and grab the breadcrumbs and let's grab the product title as well. Scroll down and we can find the star rating over here. So product rating, we're going to add that here. And let's also look for the product description. So here is the product description. We're going to add that here as well. So this is the product description. And now we need to add the add to cart button and we also need to add the product price. So here's the product price. We're going to add that here. And then we're going to look for the add to cart button. So go ahead and grab the add to cart button. And if you go back over here, you can see that we have other information here, which is not part of the shop engine widgets. So this is basically you using any widget, any elemental widget. You can add anything that you want on your product page. So let me go here and add a title over here. And then we're going to go over here and copy this text here. Let's add that here as the title. Go to style and make that a little bit smaller, maybe like this. And then the next thing here is a list. So we're going to go back here. Let's add icon list. So here is the icon list. Go ahead and drop that in here. And then you can go ahead and add pretty much anything that you want as the icon, icon text. I'll add the icon text here like this. I'll go ahead and delete this too. And then I'll duplicate this one. Go back here and then we're going to add product meta. So go ahead and drop the product meta here. And that is going to show the SKU number and the product category. You can see that we have that here. So you can add pretty much anything that you want in here. So I'm going to select this inner section that we have here. So go ahead and give that inner section a background color. And now go to advanced and go over here and I'll link the margins. And then here, maybe you can add, and you can add minus 100 over here. So you can see that it's going to look like this, which is similar to what we have over here. Let me go ahead and click on this arrow here so you can see what we have so far. So let's head over here again. We're going to add some spacing around this inner section. So we're going to add maybe 25 all around. So you add 25 and then it's going to look like this. So go back here and find the product image. I'm going to grab that product image and then I'm going to drop it here. You can toggle off the badge if you don't want this cell icon here. You can just toggle off this and that will disappear. So I'm not going to go ahead and start customizing this. You already know how to do this. You can go ahead and customize this as you wish. But this is how we achieve this design. You can see the design we have over here. This is exactly how we achieved it. 
and then if you scroll down you can see that we have the description section here and we also have the related product over here as well so over here we can add another single row section and then inside the column we're going to add the product tab so this is the product tab is going to add this additional information here you can see the product description and then you can also see the reviews from here as well and then you can go ahead and click on customization change the color to whatever you want you can change the color to yellow or whatever color that you want to change this to let's go over here and copy this text here we're going to use that as a title so scroll down here and then we're going to paste that in here so we're going to change that to related product the reason why i copied this is to make sure that we have the same font and the same size and now that we have that i'll head over here and then we're going to add the product upsell so here is the product upsell you can see that we have the product upsell here you can see that this is a slide you can also go ahead and turn off the slide if you don't want that slide to show and then you can decide how many products you want to show here maybe you want to show three you can change this to three it will show like this and then the column you can see we have four columns here so we have an entry one here you will want to change this one to three as well so that it will look like this so you have to make sure that these two numbers are the same if you change this to four you have to change this to four as well and now let's go over here and click on this section and then we are going to add maybe 150 over here at the bottom so that once we close this now you can see that we have enough space here between the footer and the section so this is looking good so far this is exactly how you can create a custom product page like this and once you finish you are going to click on update here and then you are going to click on exit to dashboard now head over to shop engine on the left side here and click on builder templates now you can see our new template is currently active again if you are not comfortable creating this from scratch by yourself I've gone ahead and created this template for you so you can go ahead and download it all you need to do is to head over here and click on add new template from here give your template a name select the single product type here click on edit with Elementor once you're on this page click on this second button right here and this is going to open the Elementor template click on my template go ahead and click on this button right here that said import template click on that and head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash WP lifestyle and that will bring you to this page right here go ahead and click on extras once you're on this page you are going to see this single product page go ahead and click on get this and then from here go ahead and put your name and email address and put the dollar amount here you can put zero dollars here or you can put any amount that you want it here this is completely free and click on pay once you download the plugin go back to your wordpress website now drag the plugin and drop it right here or click on this select file button and once you upload that is going to show up like this under my template go ahead and click on insert and click on yes and that is going to insert the template like this and you are going to get this uh, title right here that you don't need so go ahead and click on this setting icon right here on the corner and click on the page layout and select the element of with and that is going to get rid of that title that we had over here and your page is going to look exactly like the one we have in the demo go ahead and click on update and from here you can go ahead and make changes to anything that you want you can click on this title and change the color if you want you can change the color to whatever you want so this is pretty much how you can go ahead and customize that template and once you finish click on update over here and click on exit to dashboard and then from here go back to shop engine and click on builders template and the current template is the new one that we created earlier but the one we just imported right now if you want to make this the default template click on edit and then click on this set as default and click on save changes now if we go back here and refresh the page you can see the title is currently white if I refresh the page we are now going to have a yellow title like this so this is pretty much how you can customize your single product page using the free version of Elementor and the shop engine plugin if you like this video and this video was helpful one way or the other please hit that like button subscribe to this youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you get notified every time i upload a video thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time bye bye